Good morning guys. It is Wednesday. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning and I thought that I would vlog a different day this week. Um, maybe a couple different days. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. Depends on how my week plays out. But I am having Raisin Bran this morning and I'm having my coffee and it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous day out. So good morning. And I will be checking in with you a little bit later on. I don't have too much going on other than cleaning house and doing, you know, the usual around here. But I thought that maybe perhaps um, sharing a different day with you might be a little bit interesting for you all. So let's begin the day, shall we, with my breakfast. I am fixing to mop the floors and I get a lot of questions about the Dollar Tree cleaners that I purchase in my house and they ask me if it works. This is one that I've actually purchased multiple times and that is this here floor cleaner. It's a lavender scent. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm not really like fond of lavender scent, but this is not a real strong smelling cleaner, but it does get the job done and I'm very pleased with it. So for those of you that are curious about whether or not how, how much I really like this, um, I have cleaned bathroom floors with it. I've cleaned my kitchen floors with it um, and I like it. Now, it doesn't work as good as my recipe of vinegar, uh, borax, baking soda, um, and I'll put the link down below to that video for my floor cleaner. I use it whenever I am extremely, extremely deep cleaning, and I have to deep clean this kitchen quite frequently. Um, for one thing, not just the floors and the fact that I have a dog and, you know, kids and, you know, obviously we're a family of five, so it's a big mess. My husband's getting ready to come in, so I'm about to go ahead and mop. The lunch of champions hot dogs. And look at there, I got a hot guy in there loading the dryer for me. Hot guy, hot guy. Thank you, Dylan. Anyways, we're eating hot dogs for lunch, and that is what is going on. And poor Ace was really hoping he was going to get one of these, but nope, nope, nope. They're turkey hot dogs, guys. They're not that bad. Just so if you're wondering. Okay guys, I am making good progress. I got all of the laundry all folded and what I usually do is, is I just wash clothes until I'm done and then I fold it all and it's in piles of who's is who's on the bed and then tonight before we go to bed we all put it up. So now I am fixing to dust and I like to use the microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree. Hello. I look terrible today. I know it, but you know, it's a day of house cleaning, so you can't expect the beauty to be here all the time. So I got to dust my headboard and I just dust the room all the way around and then I will um, run the sweeper real good when I'm done. This is my husband. Let me put this over here. So yeah, that is what's going on now. I think I'm making pretty good headway as far as the laundry and everything goes. And I'm just dusting, dusting, dusting. For some reason, I have to dust a lot more than my mother does. My mom's house, where she lives, you know, she dusts, I think, once a week. And me, I have to go sometimes three times through the house a week to keep up with the, all the dust and I think maybe it might be because of where I live. I don't know. But anyways, just dusting away. And I don't know if I've ever showed you guys these before, but my son John has a 3D printer and he made me these owls with it. You actually can print that. And it spits out like this here um, 
plastic and it's like on a regular printer except for there's a bar that kind of hangs over top and it just keeps layering and layering and layering to build this up anyways it's really quite cool and he made me these little owls because he knows how much I love them and I think they are really awesome looking so I just thought I would show you that if you've never seen a 3D printer look it up on YouTube it's really cool looking anyways I'm just going to finish um, dusting and my husband went to pick up my son from work and I'm going to vacuum and my little company's right there hi Ace hi Ace Yep, she's my good girl. Okay, I mean boy. Sorry, Ace. <laughs> Sorry, Ace. All right. Well, I just got done cleaning my room and went and got the mail, and it is official. My son got his diploma in the mail, so it is official that he is a high school graduate. I'm so very proud of him. He graduated one year early so it's really cool hi guys it's Friday and I am parked at the Auto Zone. my husband and son are inside they are getting some brakes for um, his car for my son's car and then we are headed to um, Target or Target depending on where what you like to call it um, I'm just going to look around and just get out a little bit and uh, yeah, today is Friday, so TGIF everybody. I am so glad we are finally at the weekend. So I'll be checking in with y'all off and on. I don't know if I'm going to um, actually shoot anything while I'm at Target or not, because I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I'm just waiting on my husband so I see what's next. So I'll check in in a little bit. Okay, we're almost to Target. I got my hubby here and Lucas. You see yourself? I can see. What do you see? Someone fabulous. Someone fabulous. Anyhow, no money, but we're gonna go dream. Gotta love Target. Dream. Yeah, dream. We have to dream. Mm. We were sitting here having a conversation about a picture I saw on Facebook of somebody who posted a picture of a dental floss that was bacon flavored and he said that I should get interesting products such as that and do a haul video on it so you guys can let me know if you all are down with that I think that sounds pretty nasty <laughs> Of course, the rest of what he said was, then you could pack up the interesting products and send it to your dad. So my dad would kind of get, it would be funny uh, stocking stuffer to find bacon flavored dental floss as a gag gift. And it would be funny. chocolate toothpaste. And chocolate toothpaste, which is something um, I've actually seen in other people's hauls that they really like it. So when I see it out, I am going to get me a tube because it does seem pretty interesting. So anyways, we are almost to Target. You know us, we have to go to Target. And I heard somebody call it, what they call it? They called it Stargate because it's part Starbucks and part Target. That was a new one I heard just recently. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, we're walking. <laughs> We're walking from, where did we just go? Home Goods. And Lucas has his big bag of goodies. Right, Lucas? You broke my mug. What? You broke my mug. Yeah, I didn't break the mug. Somebody else broke the mug, but, you know. So I got me even brighter one. <laughs> it's actually, I think it's ugly. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and unique. And it okay, so. Me. We're going in. Where are we going? Michael. Michael. This isn't Michael's, is yes, it? Yes, it is. Usually they have bins out front. Not anymore. Okay, we're going in Michael's. <laughs> What'd you get? Mocha frappuccino. A mocha. And I am drinking the Oprah chai latte, which is the new one that's out and everybody's raving about on YouTube. And it's very, very good. But if you don't like really over the top spice, you won't like it, but it's really good. 
<laughs> and he's just hanging out on his phone. I'm surprised Dylan hasn't called us 10 times. Has your phone rang? Has your phone rang? No? All right, I'm gonna enjoy my drink. And Lucas has got all of his receipts. <laughs> Don't lose any of that. No. You might get home and that certain something might not fit. Don't go there. Lucas got a mug. What else did you get? Oh, a spoon rest and um, I won't say that. Not for me. It is when you spoon leave. Spoon rest is not for me. It is when you leave. Tired spoon. What do you mean when I leave? A tired spoon. <laughs> um, Am I taking it with me when I leave? Yeah. I'm not leaving yet. I know, but we're working you up to that. Good. 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 What? I feel like we bought something else, but I can't remember what it was. I know the clothes, coconut but... Coffee. Oh, yes. He got himself some coconut coffee. The Dunkin' Donuts brand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, Lucas, you were saying that the uh, blueberry muffin uh, the Dunkin' blueberry Donuts... blueberry muffin is, Dunkin' Donuts, as gross as it sounds, is really good. Might smell really good. It smells like blueberry muffins. It does smell like an actual blueberry muffin? Yeah, with just some coffee. <laughs> but it's good. I didn't even see it on the shelf. Was it back there? Mm -mm, they had it at my store. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go.